This is the story of how I entered a national AI coding competition. Basically, it all started with an email I got from my school saying, Hey, there's this AI coding competition. Why don't you join? Here's the link to sign up. So I of course clicked and read through the information and oh boy, there's a 2k cash prize. To be clear, I wouldn't just be doing this for the money. I would also be very interested in how AIs actually work and how we make AIs. But 2k is a lot of money for me right now. Like I would be able to buy myself a PC with that money. So should I do it? <laughs> Fuck it, right? I signed up, Team Swift Syntax, the team name I had to give myself, and then I was officially entered into the competition. Me and 27 other teams are now competing in this national AI coding competition. So I guess I'm actually doing this. There are a hundred days until submission, so I need a plan. First, my AI idea. An AI called Mess Check. It tells you if a room is clean or messy. With how many cameras are inside bedrooms these days, especially for teens, I thought, what if we could monitor the state of a room without invading privacy? Now, I don't understand anything about AI just yet. Like, what do you mean I type something into this little chat bar and then something happens based on exactly that? So I need to learn more about it. I searched up some courses on LinkedIn Learning and found this course by the lovely Gwendolyn Stripling on Artificial Intelligence Foundation Neural Networks. Link in the description. Which gave me a lot more questions. This awesome certificate and new keywords I can use to search up tutorials on YouTube. So that's exactly what I did. Searching for an image classifier tutorial. This one looks fun. I also linked it in the description. It's deciding if a picture is sad or happy. I guess I'm just gonna follow each step. Three hours later. I did everything just like in the tutorial. So how do I run it now? This little laptop. Like 124 lines of code know that this picture is sad. I guess now we just gotta switch the data out. But how the fuck do I get that data? Well, I scraped Google for the images, so now I have about 20,000 pictures of rooms, both messy and clean, on my laptop. My goal now is to clean this data, because if you look at the scraped data, there's a lot of bullshit too. So we gotta get that out. My brain just got dumber from doing this and I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna have to come back to cleaning tomorrow another day of cleaning data and I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> because like I've cleaned the clean images like the clean folder is now clean, but the messy folder isn't. But um, 
I don't want to clean anymore. I'm over it. Um, yeah. And I don't really know what to do because, like, now it's very imbalanced because now I got, like, 6,000 clean pictures and still, like, 10,000 messy pictures, but that there's still, like, the stuff that we don't want in there, in there. So, um, I got depressed <laughs> and didn't do anything for a week because I realized that, like, my data not being 100% cleaned is stopping me from doing anything at all. So I've decided that I'm going to use this data and just don't care about it right now because in the end I can still retrain my model with the actual data and it will come out better. But I don't have to do the whole AI still. I can just switch out the data. So that's basically my goal right now. So this time to actually run it, I'm just going to change everywhere where it's sad to messy and where it's happy to clean. We run this thing. Oh. Wow. This computer based on my data that this picture shows a messy room and it's right <laughs> this is crazy this like what what now this could also just be good luck. So I want to test this in a long-term setting. I don't know if you actually call it that. So if you know what the actual name of it is, write it down in the comments or let me know somehow. Um, but yeah, that's just what I've named it. So I changed my code to instead of just one picture, it runs all of the pictures in this folder. And in this folder right now are 100 pictures. Let's see how many times my AI can get it right over the long term view. Okay, I wish I made this up, but um, we got a 69% accuracy. Um, the last clip that you saw was 60 days ago, <laughs> two whole months. Um, I've just been doing nothing, zero, um, and I've kind of like beat myself up about it, but, um, I've been thinking a lot about why, because if you think about it, this basically only has good things coming with it. But I think the reason why I'm currently like just struggling so much with actually finishing this AI or just keep working on it is um, because it's it would be a very public, I guess, stage to fail on. Like, I kind of have this expectation of me to win. And, like, coming third or fourth or fifth or second in public would just, I don't know, that scares me a little bit. I, I found this quote that I, that I think, like, really describes my situation right now. I've got a decision I want to make. Either I give up right now and say, hey, wrong timing, or I'm doing this, but I'm okay with potentially failing in public.
the decision has been made. Um, I want to do this, um, but I'm lowering the stakes, and I'm not gonna focus on the actual winning, but more the progress, um, and just actually having something. First, we need to make our code look pretty. I'm removing stuff that are like failed features, adding comments to make others also able to understand my code. Ta-da! This is my H5 model file. It's now all pretty up and now I can finally create the clean submission folder like what you actually have to run and what I'll be submitting because I'm not just going to send them like 7 gigabyte of data and like pictures of rooms. <laughs> now that this is all pretty, we need to write a readme file. Basically just the instructions on how to run my AI. Okay, I think before I'm going to overthink this, I'm just going to sip it and just be done with it. My AI is now just in this little zip file. The competition, of course, also wants some questions answers that are like reflecting on your history. So let me quickly turn into Shakespeare. Okay, the 10 questions are answered. And since I'm a tryhard, I'm gonna design the whole PDF really awesome. Okie dokie, um, I guess that's my final PDF. Now, they also don't just want this PDF, they also want a two-minute showcase video. And I would like to think that I'm kind of good at that. If you're still watching, that kind of proves my point. <laughs> but I'm going to sweat into this even more than I did with the PDF. I think I'm done. Um, I got the zip with the AI. I answered the questions in my PDF. And I got the MP4 file. Um, We finally made it. <laughs> like actually. Um, I'm right now in front of the submission form. And it's a new day. I wanted to take another look at it um, with fresh eyes after a good night of sleep. And I'm kind of a little bit shaky. But, um, we're going to submit, we're actually going to submit this. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what else to, to say. Um, yeah. Team name, Swift Syntax. Project title, Mess Jack. Short description. An AI that can tell if a room is messy or not, eliminating the live camera in teen's room, but making monitoring still possible. If this inspires you to do something new or something that you're scared of to maybe also fail, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment telling me what you're afraid of. It truly helps so, so much. Um, just also keeping my motivation up but before we now submit um, I just want to cheer you guys don't worry guys I'm not drinking it's coke <laughs> thanks for sticking with me on this crazy ride 
thanks for watching the full video and cheers to submitting. Are we ready?